pray that you're ready. Your word is ready. The man of God is ready. We just pray that we, your people, are ready to receive everything you have prepared for us tonight. You get all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And the people who agree, shout it, amen. you make it all right I mean notice the day that the Lord has made let us rejoice and be glad it is Wednesday January the 10th put your heart in what you do put your heart into your part not everybody else you know, this fits for, you know, we're meeting on the 3rd of February. Uh, we're going to talk about just getting back to first class church, man. We done got too comfortable and lazy. and We all play a part. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Put your heart in your part. If you're going to be an urshia, put your heart in being an urshia. Yeah. If you're going to sing in the choir, give it all you got. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to warm the bitch. Warm the bench. Put your heart into it, man. Quit playing with it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> yeah, put your heart into it, man. Quit playing with that thing, man. God been too good to us to play with. Yes, sir. Not for real. He been too good. He fitly joins us together. Ephesians 4 and 16, that's what it talks about. Glory um, to God. Yeah. Mm -mm. Message version. No prolonged emphases among us, please. Will not tolerate babes in the woods. Oh, wow. Small children who are an easy mark for imposters. God wants us to grow up to know the whole truth and tell it in love. I'm going to keep reading. Like Christ in everything, we take our lead from Christ, who is the source of everything we do. He keeps us in step with each other. His very breath and blood flows through us. All right. Nourishing us so that we will grow up healthy in God, robust mm -hmm. in love. Amen. Amen. Put your heart into your part. Oh, wow. <sighs> Amen. Amen. Now we're going to give you the dismissal. <laughs> <laughs> well. Put your heart in your part. Mm, mm, mm. See, don't worry about nobody else. Well. Yeah. Sell out to your part. Yeah. You, you, know why the, you, you know why the body is, fr is flimsy? Everybody looking at what everybody else is supposed to be doing. The eye does not argue with the ear. Well, he ain't trying to, the eye ain't trying to tell the ear how to hear, and the ear ain't trying to tell the eye how to see. The ear is hearing and the eye is seeing. Mm -hmm. You have probably heard that unless you're the lead dog, uh -oh. the view seldom changes. The problem is, however, not everybody can be the leading man or woman. Amen. Right. And it's better to be a working actor than an out-of-work star. Oh, ain't that so. 
It's better to have a part than not have a part at all. For real. That, 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 that's what it's saying. Mm -hmm. Good God Almighty. Yes, sir. At least you get to be in the play. Well, you might not have a leading role, but you play a role. Don't know why you got that little pinky toenail on that pinky toe. I don't know why that thing. That's the ugly little toenail we got, but it play a part. It plays a part. It may not be as big as the big toe, but it play a yeah. part. If you didn't need it, he wouldn't have put it on there. That's right. It just grow the way it wanted. That little toe just grow the way it wanted to grow. Okay, God, you in control. Yeah. Ugh. But even that pinky toenail, yeah. don't argue with the big toe. It's just happy to be on the foot. Because all, all five toes are there for a reason. And every toe has a toenail for a, for protection. Yeah. It gives you, that little pinky toe gives you balance. Oh, yeah. Sure does. Ugly as it is. I ain't going to ask you to take your shoe off and look at it. You know what it's like. No, what that hair around your, on your neck do? I don't know what it do. It do something. Somebody said roll up. But it don't argue about the skin. Y'all get what I'm saying? It, it, you know, some of y'all go up a little higher. It's called the kitchen. Yeah, that's how you, uh, huh. yeah. We were growing up, they called them BBs. But even the BBs played a part. If nothing but to tell you women, it's time for a perm, or you guys, it's time for a haircut. They do it purpose. Well, ain't that something? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Besides, most great achievers, if they're honest, will tell you they couldn't have done it alone. Yeah. Well, ain't that something? They needed the contribution of each member of the. You need it. That's why he sent you here. All right. Why are you playing with it? I was asked a question, how do you know uh, your shepherd, if it's your shepherd? Very simple. You prosper. Holistically. See, to a lot of people, I was just rim to the Lord opened their eyes to see me as a shepherd. All right. I want everybody to shepherd when I first walk in here. Somebody, I'm still not your shepherd. That's why you can comfortably call me Reverend. Mm. Hey, Reverend. <laughs> but, but Q, yeah. when God cuts the light on and let you see me as a sh under shepherd, yeah. your life changed. Yeah. Everybody play a part. It, 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 it's by his design. Glory to God. And you didn't have, you thought your hand went up to, that didn't, that didn't really make it happen. It, it, you don't even know why you raised me. You, you, what did that tell you? Mm. <laughs> hey, y'all, what in the world did I just do? Oh, See, you, you, I don't know why I'm green, agreeing. The, the Lord doesn't touch you and say, raise your hand. Some of y'all still kicking. What in the world did we do? Well, because your eyes have been opened to see the shepherd for who it is. He's just a preacher to you. Mm. It's amazing how cows and all those animals know their owner's truck. Mm -hmm. A bunch of blue car trucks will drive by. They don't even move them. Mm -hmm. But they know when their owner yeah. is driving up. A dog know when, when the owner's coming home. They hear a car in the driveway, they run, run, run. But when the owner comes, you watch that little tail just be wagging. 
A dog no. <laughs> Here I come. Why is it so hard for the believer to know? Oh, the fish. You still prove my point. But a human? Wow. I don't know. He don't sound right. But let you get in trouble. Well, now you already know. Call my pastor. I be wanting to know who who is he? Who who? Because I'm not everybody's pastor. Who is he? Well, <laughs> not real pastor. No, I'm telling you. When I went to see when I went to see the uh, brother 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 Mike Crawford, he's dying. He just sitting there staring out the window. I said, "Man, what's going on?" He's very Rem. I don't know. Rem, you hear what I said, right? He said, man, I, 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 I got him retired. Uh, Dr. Reed asked me to teach Sunday school. I went and got a doctorate to teach. I said, there's your problem right there. He said, and I got ready to do the work of the Lord, and I got sick. And I'm dying. I said, boy, you ain't going to die. You, you dying. You're physically dying, but you'll live forever. He said, what? I said, you remember all that praying you did when you was over to the search committee? Yeah. They told me you ate out, you ate more carpet than the law allowed. You laid out and ate carpet praying to God that you made the right choice. I said, every time I preach and a soul is saved, you play a part in that. Whether you hear or not. He said, my God, my pastor. Mm -hmm. Y'all yeah. missed that. In myself is reverend. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta illuminate. Yeah. But when the spirit confirmed itself, oh, that is my pastor. So, so where you are now, when you, that ain't your shepherd, man. That man even know you. Yeah, I've been preaching the word since I got here. It ain't just the word. It's the, it's the opening of God's understanding yeah. well, to the voice that's giving you the word. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody's speaking to you ain't supposed to be speaking to you. My God. That's what's wrong. We got too many people. We got too many listeners. In. We got too many people in our ear. Yeah. Oh, the person sitting next to you is your pastor. Because whoever you listen to the most is who you follow. Yeah. Well. Amen. But aren't you glad the body doesn't listen to the ear. For real. Y'all don't, I don't lost you. Let me bring y'all back. Aren't you glad the body listens and responds to the one brain in its head? Yeah. Well. Carla's brain can't send a signal to me. It's designed for her body. Yeah. Right. And when you realize who you are, whose you are, and the part you play, give it all you got. Yeah. That, that's what the list is talking about. Give, give it, get, get, quit, quit poking at who you are. Yeah, yeah. If you don't own that garment, work it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if you the leg, stand up. If you the shoulder, yeah. lean with it. <laughs> Whatever right. part you play, yeah. put your heart into it. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? So you can mature. If 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 Wanda uh, look at faith and faith is not growing, you know the first thing she's gonna say? Something wrong with my baby. She twelve still, still nine. That, that ain't right. You you gonna say something's wrong? So when everything's in harmony, every part of the body moves and grows. Right. That's all I'm telling you. It it it's in it, it's in sync. Somebody say in sync. That, that's why your house has to be in order. Everything has to be in order. There is a reason for a line, a chain of command. So order can flow. It's God, Christ, Holy Spirit, parents, mother, father, children. Dog or cat if you got one. 
Whenever you usurp the authority of the person in front of you, you shut down the power of God. All right. That's why it says a disobedient child days shall be numbered. Because the flow that comes from your parents don't hit you. So now you're malnourished. Now, now you lean into your, now, now can't nobody tell you nothing. That's why nothing will work in your life. Because you by, you're trying to bypass yeah. the person that's in front of you yeah. to feed, lead, and guide you. All right. That's why at home needs two parents. The man leads and the wife supports. The man brings in the groceries, the wife cook. The man pays for the house, but the wife makes it a home. My God. The man disciplines the child, but the wife understands the emotions of the child. Yeah. But when she's being the emotions and God, and she confused. Amen. We got a bunch of confused homes. Because the structure's not right. It's not. All right. We're throwing all we got is something, and that that we're throwing don't meet, the, don't supplement the person that's not there. You can't live without blood. Sure can. Try to inhale with no oxygen. <laughs> you suffocate. My daughter had a panic attack. She said, I can't give my I can't I can't give my breathing. So now you're panicking and it's really off. Because it's not in sync, y'all. Right. The church is off. Amen. When God is where he's supposed to be, yeah. Yeah. Christ is where he's supposed to be, right. the Holy Spirit is where he's supposed to be, but you ain't where you're supposed to be. Yeah. And we're only as strong as our weakest link. Yeah. No prolonged emphases among us, please. please. We'll not tolerate babes in the woods, small children who are an easy mark for impossible. Grow up! Yeah. Right. We can't keep eating milk. We got to start eating the meat of the word. Amen. So that we can grow. You know them babies that just mamas just, that was lazy? And let them have a bottle hanging out their mouth the whole time they were little. All their teeth fell out. They had them silver caps on it. Kids thought that was a style. No, that's malnourishment. Bro. That's too much sugar. They're trying to save them so you won't be snagged to with rotten teeth in your mouth. So I'm going to put a cap on it until your teeth fall out. Because you wasn't brushing your teeth. You had milk in your mouth the whole time. Give them a bottle. They too old for a bottle. Take that bottle out their mouth. Give them some water to wash that, wash that sugar down. I don't want no water. They don't want no water. They don't want no water, mama. Then they put what? Sugar in the water. Everything's sugar. What why all our kids fat? Obese when they little. Just pumping them up with sugar. We be messing up their digestive system. You, you don't want to fool with them. You want them to hear them go to sleep so they can't even digest cereal first. Yeah. You put cereal in them. Oh, this is going to put them to sleep. We're going to give them a little Benadryl and put them to eat, making your babies addicts before they even grow up. None. It only had sugar has one less ingredient than cocaine. Cocaine, sugar cane, it comes from the same thing. That's why we're so addicted to sugar. I ain't going to eat no sugar. Give me one cookie, one cookie. One turn to five, five turn to seven. Well, give me a whole 20-ounce soda water. And salt. You do not like chips. You want the salt on the chips. So you eat the chip to get the salt. And then you squeeze, you sprinkle salt on the salt. Uh -huh. And sprinkle salt on the apple. So I, we just do everything. But when it comes to our place in God, well, we make up every excuse. Who 
I just don't like the way he talks. Go, go somewhere else to eat. I'm tired. I'm tired of explaining who I am to you. Go, that's, you see, you ain't my chief. Yeah. Grow up! Yeah. This morning, I, I counseled Wake and Bake. The Lord had uh, my buddy called me in the jams. Man, I need you, I need you to teach a class for me in my, in my Bible study. I said, okay, I'll do it this time. Click on this 50 men in there. I preached, I taught one of the lessons I had. I had them four lost their mind. Oh my God, where did you get that from? And he said, God said, I'm keep telling you, you just keep teaching. Whether your whether your people get it or not, I'ma have people that's hungry yeah. for what you have to say. Amen. He will. He will. One guy said, you know what? Just because of what you said, I'm I'm tired of working. I'm I'm about to lose my mind. I said, call me. I got it. I got something for you. I meet him at eight tonight. So wherever he tell me to go, I'm going. Where you at? Busy. Can't be busy with nobody's. You don't want nothing. I got to go where the going is. I think Q said the worst thing you can have is to have a person that's for you and they're no longer there anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happened to Pat? I don't have to die. God will move me from this place. Well, I'm tired of explaining to you why I'm here. Hell, I'm tired. The outside world is responding. You're not. Wow. So guess what? It is what it is. You can't cry harder for people than they, than they cry for themselves. Amen. Well, I'm crying and you laughing. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have tears for you no more. Thank God. You know what I say? Man, I sure hate that for you. God almighty. God bless. You know what my new saying is? Bless their heart. Wow. Because they picked that. They sure did. You picked that. And whatever come with it, you're supposed to have it. Wow. Cause what happened to that arm if it don't, if it atrophies? I gotta cut that off, man. When you don't use it, you lose it. Amen. And everything you need to talk. Yeah. When the person trying to talk to you, you don't listen. They quit talking. You lose that. Amen. You don't get that no more. That's why when you don't give it all you got, so when it don't work, God will move you on. Or cut the dead weight off of what's there, y'all. We we gotta quit being little children. He said, "Don't we don't want no." What is that, Q? He said, "No prolonged emphasis among us, please." Yeah, right there. Can you quit being a kid? Yeah. Please, please. <laughs> We'll not tolerate babies in the woods. Small children who are easy marked for See, when you stay a child, you get infected quick. So when you obey spiritually, you bring that mess in here. Yeah, yeah. No more talk between uh, every wind and doctor. You got to get the meat of the word so you can stand when foolishness comes your way. Yeah. Ain't that something? You need to grow up. You need to grow up. Not grow. Yeah. You're killing the peace. Well, because you're throwing fits and one it your way. Grow the hell up. Mm. <laughs> Tired of saying the same thing over and over. No, you, we ain't got time to keep repeating this. How many times we got to tell you, Jesus, look? How many times we got to offer you the plan of salvation? How many times we got to tell you that we're a body moving it? Well, grow up. Little boy. Yeah. And a little girl. That's 60. You're a 50 year old and nine year old kid. Uh -uh. You still got a bottle in your mouth and you're 50. Oh, wow. That is not healthy. Yes, ma'am. Grow up. Yeah. 
You can tell you're immature because you're always throwing fits. Hey, I won't do that. I walk in my Because I said so. Yeah. Well, birds, birds feed their little until they get thin. You kick them out the neck. Man, oh, man. You kick them out, they feed them. They get down the ground. I'm the daddy. Don't ask me why. You didn't ask me how I was going to make that money. You ask me about the rent car, you don't cover that car, so don't question me when I tell you to do something. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody say, and shut the door if you don't like it. Kick him out the door. <laughs> See, you do all that talking, but you're a coward, you're a baby. Mm, mm, mm. And as long as you keep putting that chip in your mouth, they'll keep throwing fish and milking you for everything they need. Here's the chicken leg, baby. Until you learn to eat, you won't eat. Mm. <sighs> Mom, I'm hungry. Go on and make you something. I don't know how. Well, you will figure out. There's the meat, there's the bread, and there's the counter. Figure it out. Cheese in that, too. Grow. Oh. Yeah. Huh? You got to grow up, man. God said his. Listen, please. You got Paul Bay. God wants us to grow up. To know the whole truth. And tell it in love. Yeah. That ain't going to cut it, homeboy. Home good. That ain't it. I don't care what you're doing. Just because you're doing it, don't make it right. This is what he said. This is the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you ain't got stopped for speeding does not mean you're not speeding. Yeah. 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 Just because you're not a diabetic doesn't mean you're not overeating. Like Christ in everything, we take our lead from who is the of everything we do. Why are you looking for everything else? None of that stuff matters. Why wouldn't we see Christ? Everything we do should be about Christ. Yeah. Why? Because he came. Hung, bled, and died, and left so that you can live. Yeah. Why would you talk about something else? Who cares about Buddha? Who cares about the Quran? Who cares about Muhammad? Neither one of them did that. We weren't fit to live and so wasn't ready to die. There was a debt that, could, that had to be paid, but we couldn't pay it. Sure couldn't. We were doomed from the day the debt was added to our name. For real. And then go. Set the debt and then he paid it. Wow. Glory to God. Because that's how much he loves you. And me. Right. And you don't give y'all to him. Slow. Slow. We won't surrender. Right. We're still trying to make it about us. Mm. I was listening, at, looking at Eddie Bernice Johnson's uh, funeral and the preacher got up. He said, Let me tell y'all something. You are somebody special because God made you. Right. And whether you want to believe it or not, you're right where you're at right now because God said so. He knows what your insecurities are. 
He know what your shortfalls are, so he's going to put you somewhere for you to grow. Yeah. Thank Because what he has you, he know you ain't ready for you. Yeah. Well. Don't mean he don't have it for you. He just know you ain't ready for it. So he's going to let you go on the back side of the mountain for a little while. Yeah. Well. <laughs> he's going to let you go through what you're going through. Yeah. He's he going to slow it down a little bit because you ain't ready to stand up and where he finna stand you. The songwriter says, he's preparing me yeah. for something I cannot handle right now. He's making me ready. Why? Just because he cares. See, he don't want you to fail. Right. He wants you to max out at what he has for you to do because when you max out at where he puts you, lives and souls will be changed and saved because they'll see him in you. If he gets you that too fast, you'll think it's you. So if God has placed you well, in a support role today, accept it without complaining. Mm. There's a reason you're in a support role. We need more supporters than we do leaders. Yeah. Well, Too many leaders kicks up a fight. But when you know you're in a support role, you're where God has you, accept the role without complaining. Yeah. I was I, There's a book called uh, uh, Followers, of, Followers of Christ. I say everybody wants to be a leader. Everybody take leadership classes, right? The class you need to take is fellowship. Oh, wow. That's why God leave you at home for a while so you can follow your parents. And when you can't follow somebody that's leading you, that's paying the way, you darn so can't do it on your own. Dum, dum, da, dum, 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 dum. There's a reason he gave you your parents with the age gap between you and them. He's taking them through some things just for you. Right. You so cold, you'd have been born first. <laughs> if you got it all together, God would have born you, made you be born first. But God gave you your tired mom and daddy, whatever you call them, and made them your parents. You didn't pick that, he did. So if he picked it, not them, since he picked it, they got something for you that my mama couldn't give you. Well, that wouldn't be killing me by kids. They listen to everybody else but their own parents. Just dumb as a day. They don't have, them fuck you, this ain't got your DNA. They don't have your best interest. Well, I ain't it just makes it hell. She ain't even you, ain't it? She bow down and suck up to that crap you talking. You know why she suck up to it or he suck up to it? Because they ain't responsible for you. Right. Say what you want to say to a child. At the end of the day, that child go home with their parents. And if your life is screwed all up, that's your family fault. Neither one of y'all listening to those. Both of y'all just crazy as a bitch, bro. Just falling off the cliff. But everybody, man, can't be a leader. Right. Watch this. Suck, second chair does not mean second fiddle. Yeah. Show down. Just because you're in the supporting role does not mean you have a leading role. Yeah. Your leading role is in supporting, not leading. Yeah. And he just said the superstars can't make it without the support of the team. Yeah. Right. I ain't present here, we present here. People say, I I've learned, you know, some people want to know it all. Yeah. Want to put stuff in their mind they don't even have to memorize. Right. 
You got to have for that. Use Adam. When I put people around me, so I don't have to think about it. If I had to think about what you're supposed to be thinking about for me, I don't need you. Amen. Sister Reeves said, what you want to eat, food? What you think? I'm not. What you think? This, okay, that's what it is. I pay you to say, I ain't even got that food. Why? I got, I got some more food for you. I'm preparing this meal. Right. And when you got leaders around you, you get out the way and let them lead, man. What? It's like me calling. You know, Sister Reba, I, I can use her because she'll, she'll call me later. We, we laugh about it. Uh, some of y'all use you. Talking about, I think the Lord is leading me to leave. No, you need to get trained to shut up. I, I can call Sister Reba. If I call, if I call Sister Reba, Sister Reba, uh, what, how you cooking the eggs tomorrow, in the morning? She's going to say, what? Now, now, when you boil it, don't fill the pot all the way up. Look at him talking. Oh, Contessa, when you when you cut the vacuum cleaner on, could you could you vacuum like this and not like this? Br- Brother Mac, when you preach, listen, I need you to sound like this. The hell, what I need them for? <laughs> you know, hey, this is Sunday. I ain't even thinking about preaching. Then I get him want to preach. Yeah, sit down and not preach. You gotta let the the supporting cast yeah. play their role, yeah. right? <laughs> How long you been here, Q? Let me hear. How many times I came in to, in, in to conduct the show for us? Nine. In twelve years, I had two songs I asked for. Two. It's two. I've only asked for two songs. What you preaching about? What you preaching? The Bible. I want to know what your sermon is so we can get a song. No. I don't know where the spirit is going to go. If you're in the spirit, I'm in the spirit, you'll meet me where I am. Yeah. Out my doors, uh, preach the sermon, put your foot on their neck. Open the door, just put your foot on your neck. Now I'm like, I just said that. The spirit said, I caught it. So it flows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carla say, well, I say, Carla, uh, I'm tired of looking at the program like this. It was straight, but we looking at it like this. I'm like, who the, who printed this? Oh, we just made copies in the in the, in the furniture. Oh, no, the back. Can you just straighten it up, put a little color in it if you want to? What do we want to do? She brought it to me, man. She said, you, you easy. I said, no, it's better than what we had. <laughs> now let's see where it takes us. Yeah. A whole print company that started from a promo. Mm-hmm. Don't call me and ask me nothing about this building. You know Joe Parker number? He know. I don't know. I be calling Joe. <laughs> but I mean, when Joe got sick, boy, I'm like, man, Lord, will you get this man back up here to the show? We can't find nothing. I said, Joe, we ain't got no water in the pool. What am I going to drop that? Uh, uh, go, go upstairs and look right to your left. Man, I went up to the step. I said, I've been looking at this. Stuff. <laughs> I said, I've been looking at this. Oh, Ava done walk past it. Brandon done walk past it. I, I say, call him. <laughs> Tired of looking. Well, if you, if you know, you know, Joe be smart to you. You know, if you, if you walk up the stairs and look down, it should be right there. I know where I left it. <laughs> I be sitting there talking about Mac. I be talking about he's so. <laughs> He's so gonna be glad I need him to. T- I'm finna go up there. I know I looked up there. Carl went up there. He said, I hear somebody. See there, I told you. Let the supporting roles be the supporting role. That's how we grow. Yeah. All parts connect together and grow simultaneously. But you got to put your heart in your part. Yeah. And you can't tell Parker nothing about this building. He know it inside and out, up, down, all the way around. I tell my son, well, what is wrong with y'all? The sound be fine on Wednesday. What's the problem on Sundays? I you do know you did it. Now go tell everybody how it worked. Because we can hear. Can you hear me now? 
Man, Mac pre last time I felt so bad for him. He goes, I'm going to He can't preach. Can't even talk. Holler. Mike just low. I know he came here, sir. So he, I know he. That ain't how he talk. Damn, fix the sound. Hey, that ain't right. His voice lets us know it's not right. The choir can't sing. They hollering. Because they can't hear themselves. I told my, you get it right on Wednesday. Let me come here, son. It ain't right. Yes, sir. Came here, son. I did like this. Because you know what you're doing. Don't second guess you. I hired you to do that. I don't know that, but I know that ain't right. I don't know a whole lot, but I know. <laughs> I say, we got a malfunction in the, in the sound room. How you know? Andre and Q ain't playing on the same beat. They can't hear. Oh, okay. There we go. I mean, you know what you ought to do. You know what you ought to do. I'm serious. You ought to get on people nervous how, how committed you ought to what you do. You ought to, people ought to say, oh, Lord, here he come. Oh. If Contessa said one more thing about the trash in these pews, she's supposed to. Yeah, when I walked to her in the trash on that pew, they go, oh, we pay you to do this. I just did it. You didn't do something. I said, you tell these folks to respect this place. This is your responsibility. Yeah. Amen. What would y'all say? They'll leave nasty folks. Amen. Amen. Behind their nasty kids. Amen. And it ain't even the kids no more. These grown folks, y'all nasty. What would you say? What say you if I ain't never read it? What say you when I'm late ever? Son. So we in it. Let's have me know you. You but you see you have one on me. Let's have one on you. Yeah. So trifling self. You trifling. Cause you choose to do that. that you, listen, you choose to be that sorry in God's house. And you wonder why he don't hear your prayer. Because mm. watch this. If I go get, you remember we used to get the newspaper? Yep. Had a rubber band on it? You take the rubber band and put it around your wrist? Yep. And it start cutting through there? Pretty soon some blood going to stop circulating. Right. Hand going to get numb. Well, you causing us to get numb. <laughs> you cutting off the circulation with that, with that piece of, of spirit you bring instead of giving us your all. You're blocking the flow of the Holy Spirit. That's why I'll be looking at y'all on Sunday. What is that man playing his heart out? Can y'all just start playing for him? Just play some. Play with us all. Just play some for him. Come on, come on. Where you go? Come on. Hold on. Buddy. Where you go? In the, in the sound room. Come here, come here, little Quentin. Listen, 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 listen. Here you go. Listen, listen, y'all. Now, 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 okay. Hold on, kid, before you start. Now, 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 when you teach it, I get y'all. When y'all walk, when, when, you don't, when you don't prepare to teach, you read, ain't you? Sure is. You be doing this What's wrong with you? Hey, what time? What time? Every time. <laughs> right? Yeah. And you ready to go in there and teach, Donald? Yeah. And them kids ain't paying attention. Hey! <laughs> Am I lying, teachers? When ain't nobody paying attention, you be telling them, what is wrong with you? Yeah. Don't you know I'm finna? But I'm ready to teach this. You can tell when Mac ready to preach. He bring that big old cup. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> walking around the preach. He comes to sit that big old cup right. He ready. Because he's prepared. Right. And when you know you done done your part, 
And when the lights go on and we say action, everybody that's prepared is ready to do their part. Right. Okay, uh, uh, play that one. If you ready, look how y'all look. When you know the song, you. you. You know when you start thinking, am I playing? Yeah. Ooh. You make him second guess himself. And when every part of the body is not functioning, it starts to question it. Yeah. And when something's not working, yeah. other parts of the body over. Yes, it should. Cause it's out of whack. That's why they tell you don't put so much weight on your body. Cause it makes your hard work overtime. Well. You don't have no discipline on the fork. <laughs> so the heart has to overcompensate to pump blood to all that fat. <laughs> you say, the Lord, pa Pastor, Pastor, yeah, baby, the Lord led me here to Hallelujah. <laughs> Tears are moving. I, 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 mm -mm. Baby, what you crying for? What, what, are you crying, what is the tears for? Because when we put you in the game to do the work, well, you ain't going to be there. I be doing I just read, they get to cry. You know, Pastor, I need to talk to you. Okay. Go on, take a minute to cry. Because I don't need your feelings. That emotion don't move me. See, I was, I was. <laughs> Go on, get to crying, baby. See, I was thinking. What I was thinking about, get you nothing. Because when you get to crime, we're going to get to the truth. Well, food, fits, and feelings, they go together. Baby. I, I don't mind. Don't get it out. But when we start telling you what it requires to do that, yeah. Well, see, uh, I, I wasn't expecting to do all that. Then you, he didn't call you. Because when you step into that arena, yeah. you assume responsibility for whatever is needed for that spot to be there. Right. You, you, you said, I'm finna step in. So everything dealing with that, that's on you, baby. I can't walk away from him when I want to. You mean I gotta love them? Yeah, love them the most. Oh, man. Come on, girl. 
I don't want to go today. No, you got to go today. Because guess what? They still need a word from me. Right. <clears throat> you tell that lady don't want to move sometimes. You don't know. tell you how you know. Because it won't move. You be trying to get out. You be like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That lady said, well, not right now. Hold on. Hey, you been trying to get up your body and say, no, sir, Rebob. It's just me. You be so tired. You be talking about. You lay there, you got, you know, when we get older, when we get older, man, we got to lay there anyway. Like, Ooh, hey, body, guess what? I'm up. <laughs> Your body say, oh, really? Thank God for remote. You know, we need on our body the remote start. We wake up, hit that button. Get that blood. <laughs> Man, you get up your body cracking. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Oh, that was an old football injury. <laughs> it's something. It's something. So if God this is, has placed you in a supporting role today. Yeah. Accept it without complaining. Mm. Amen. Do your part to make the entire production stronger. You see that? You see that? Not only will you learn all about team spirit, and that's important for when you get to be the lead. Right. You also learn the Christ-like virtue of humility. See, in the supporting role, you learn humility. Mm. In the lead role, you learn how to use the team spirit to lead the team. Yeah. So wherever you are, you still learn it. Yeah. Without the come. Yeah. I hate complainers. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to take you to the store, but man, I don't want to drive. Man, I don't want to ride with you. Because you're about to make me knock you out. I'm going to come support you. You got to go to the bathroom now? Okay. No, I'm going to be on you. Amen. You say you come to help. Amen. Help. Amen. And don't complain about it. Right. Hey, man, go around there and check that for me. Oh, it's done. Sure. Why you got to call me every time? You told me I can call you. Amen. Wow. Well, if I can't call you, say that. Because I ain't going to call you unless I need you. That's a fact. Amen. Quit bugging God. He know you need to follow first yeah. to learn humility. Yeah. And when he knows there's enough humility in you and you had a team spirit, then he'll elevate you to lead a part of the team. Most of your hearts ain't right. Amen. It's still an infant heart. Mm. You have matured you. you have, the Lord has not matured you mm, mm, mm. to really. That's why. He, that's why a lot of you don't see the word that this goes forth here. You sitting here, you don't see it Amen. because you don't move to it. Well, we got to have a pep ready for you to get in the spirit. See, when you really know God, you don't need nobody to tell you to say Amen. When I woke up this morning, hallelujah, yeah. I think about my family was, you know what? My family was doing fine. Right. When I looked out the window and I saw the bright, Lord, thank you. Because somebody laid down last night and didn't get up. Right. My hands went up. Start shouting. A day I never seen before. Because you never saw this day before. It's a gift. It's a present. What you going to do with it? What are you going to do with this day you didn't even know you would get to live in? Well. And he didn't leave you here to worry about problems. He left you here to praise his name. My God. 
When you open your mind, why are you talking about your problem? You start talking about what God, you know what, child, I'm feeling, I'm just so thankful that I'm seeing this day. Lord, have mercy. I went to sleep last night in the bad spirit. He woke me up in a good one. I went to sleep last night, wasn't feeling the best, woke up feeling better. I felt in a long time. Lord, have mercy. I looked in the mailbox and there was a check. I didn't even know it was coming. But guess what? My light's still on and he ain't moved yet, but I'm alive. Just because he ain't gay, you know, don't mean he ain't God. Well, Sometimes he ain't getting enough to see if you'll praise him without getting you nothing. Will you just praise him for the fact that he's God? And if every time, the only time you praise God, when he give you something, he knows you really ain't his. Well, you sugar dad in him. You just want, you only praise him when he give you something. So your praise ain't for real because if it's only based on giving, everything don't need to be given to you. Because some of the stuff he gives you is going to be a little pressure. Mm, pressure? Pressure? Because he's making a diamond. Well, He's making a diamond out of you, man. Oh my God. And you don't get diamonds with soft water. You don't get the sparkle with a little touch. Amen. You got to have some pressure put on you. Yeah. You can't look at grapes and they make wine. Nope. My God. You got to get that step on them grapes, man. Yeah. To pull the juices out to make that. Yeah. To feel that. Yeah. So you can drink it. You can't drink grapes juice. Well. But you can drink wine. When you pressure them, when, yeah, you, when you step on them. Some of you don't even understand. You, your praise is being developed with pressure. Yeah. My God. My God. Some of you don't even understand. Your faith is being tested with him not giving you everything you need. To see if you'll still call his name when that one thing you need haven't showed up yet. You apply, you, you apply faith when you don't know the answer. If you know all the answers, you don't need faith. You'll start thinking that's you. But when God apply that pressure, and you don't look to your left and to your right, then check your purse, your account, ain't nothing showed up. Are you in pain? You say, Lord, help me. And to ease the pain. He said, oh, wow. God, it, 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 uh. that's why he said the just shall live by facts. Not facts, faith. Because the fact says you can't do it, but faith says, yes, you can. My God. Fact says your credit is low, but faith says I can still get your house. My God. That's why he ain't answering. You don't even pray me now. I'm keeping you, even though I ain't gave it to you. I'm keeping your mind. I'm opening doors. I'm, I'm preparing you for something you can't handle right now, and you won't even give me glory. My God. Everything around you is working except that one piece. And that one piece that ain't working is waiting on you to have faith that I'll make it work. Paul said, I've learned to be content in whatever situation I am because, because wherever I am, he's there. And whatever situation he put me in, he can get me through it. Whatever I don't have, he can provide it. Whatever I can't see, he can open my eyes to see it. Whatever don't make sense to me, God can make it make sense. You know, God is a spirit. That's why he needs willing vessels. That's why when you're in a supporting cast, you need to be willing with the right spirit so he can work to you and support the whole movement. So he can bring his vision to pass. Because I, I got you mopping over here without complaining. I got you ushering me in over there with a smile on your face. I got you sitting in the seat clapping. I got you interested in the worship service so other people that's watching you can say, well, maybe I need to clap my hands. My God. 
But if everybody's sitting here looking mad, everybody's sitting here rolling their eyes, us that well sinners say, I don't want to go to that church because ain't nothing flowing through the old people are, but 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 cold blood. And that stunts your growth. Somebody needs to see you, praise God, that know you going through. You don't call me Shauna and you telling me you're going through, I'm telling you to trust God. You come out here, praise God. I say, oh God, she heard me tell you. She heard it because she's praising you. Because your word said you inhabitate in the praises of his people. And what the people understand, I'm going to praise you in spite of. Because, Lord, I'm calling your name because I need you to move in right now in my situation. So if I got to sweep, I sweep. If I got to mop, I mop. Because one day... I will be the hair custodian. One day, this place that I'm cleaning will be my house. One day, when I do your house with the right spirit, you'll let me take your spirit to my house. And my spirit, the spirit will be right in my house. You got to put your heart into it. Reminded of a story of a man that worked for a construction company. And the man, the owner said, you finna retire. Your time to retire. At the ceremony, Mac, he was giving out all kind of rewards. And he forgot the foreman that was so good to him. The foreman got mad. The owner said, listen, Mac, why don't you do me a favor? I got one last house I need you to build before you retire. Here are the, here are the blueprints. I mean working. But the foreman was so mad. He cut corners. He didn't get the best wood, he got the cheap wood. He didn't get the real good cement, he got the cheap cement. He didn't get quality sheetrock, he got the leftover sheetrock. When he put the roof on, he left some holes in it. He, he took shortcuts. Because he had to prove a point that his boss overlooked him. But what he didn't realize, that God had already convicted the owner. As he left the ceremony, he said, I didn't do nothing for Matt. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let him build a house. And when he get a keys back to him, I'm going to give them back to him. But see, but because Matt thought he was overlooked, he didn't put his heart into what he was doing. He let, the, he let the workers show up when they wanted to. He let them put the walls up with trash behind it. He let him put windows in that was cracked. He got all he got all secondary stuff, nothing new. And when he got through with the house, he said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, I'll show him." The man said, "Pastor, here your key." The pastor said, "No, Mac, keep the key." See, because six months ago. When we had our awards ceremony, I didn't realize that I overlooked you. But before the service was over, he said, as good as you are, Mac, I'm going to bless you real good. What am I trying to tell you? So the house that you built, I'm giving it to you because of all of the hard work you've done. And Mac immediately start to stop and shake and lose his mind. Why? Because Mac knew all the shortcuts that he took. Mac said, if I'd have known this was my house, I'd have put the best of the best in it. I'd have made sure that the ground was level. I will put Bermuda in my yard. I will put I will put brush all the way around it. I will put treated wood around my gate, around the back. I would have put the pool that was on the paperwork, but I wanted to cut costs. The Bible is telling us, God is telling us, Mac, you robbed yourself. You robbed yourself because you didn't give me your very best. Some of you wonder why God ain't fooling with you because he know your heart when you walk in the building. He see you rolling your eyes while 
I'm talking right now. He see you playing through your money and pass that hundred, that fifty, that twenty, that ten, and that five, and pull out your stinking one dollar and tell God that's all you got. God knows your heart. Because you start out with a bad heart. You know that bad heart is contagious. Now the wooden man is slacking. Now the cement man is slacking. Now the grass man is slacking. Now the painter is slacking. Now the flow is slacking. Because you walk in the house of God with a slacking spirit. Preach like a madman just to get you to zero to say amen one time. The Bible says he looks high, he sits high, and he looks, he sees what you're doing with the light on or the light on. God is the only one that know your heart. You can fool us some of the time, but you can't fool God none. Put your heart in the young pole. Don't worry about Mac. Don't worry about Reba. Quit worrying about Chris. Only what you do for Christ. The Bible says you will grow in every way and be more like Christ, the head of the body. Who holds it together and makes all of its parts work? God makes it work. When you bring your heart to him. So put your heart in the your point. Stop and think about how you're living your life. Are you giving it everything you got or are you holding out? Hoping somebody else will recognize your talent. It's not about the greatness of the part you have been given. It's about how much effort you put into doing it. What you put into what you're doing. And I woke up this morning. Man, sit down. Right now. has placed you in a supporting role rather than a starring role is because he recognized that the team needs your particular strengths and talents. Ask him to help you accept the role he has given you. Whatever it is. And learn to fulfill it with gratitude and dignity. Let me, let me say this. So you, those of you ain't got no money, accept it right now. He knows. Right. And when you complain and moan and complain and grouch and, well, I almost said that word. You know what God say? They ain't ready. I, I don't give you much. I need you, to, I need you to praise me for what I'm doing. Which builds your humility. You ain't going to get to do everything right off the bat. There are some things you have to be disciplined enough to say, I can't do that right now. Not I can't do it, I can't do it. I got financial goals, saving goals, certain stuff I don't do, not because I can't. I ain't. Because he got me on something else. All right. If everything you got, if you can do everything you're doing now and you ain't got nothing, you have nothing to look forward to. Right. All right. All 
When I save the money and I go get to do what I want to do, I appreciate the discipline of telling myself no for a period of time. And then when I go to the store and do whatever I want to do. All right. Everybody ain't finna be on top every day. There's some low folks in here. But see, you don't even know the shop. Because you're talking about lower than that when we first got here. Half the church is on food stamp when I got here. Half the church ain't on food stamp no more. Some of you rode the bus for years. You got cars in the driveway now. You don't even know when to tell the Lord thank you. It ain't not be what you want, but it ain't show beast walking. See, every car I had, it ain't always been a luxury car. When I had that old beat up pony, I got to talk to it like it was a Mercedes. And don't you know it turned into a Mercedes? Well, you can praise God for the hoopty. When you can praise God for the apartment that don't have air. When you wash the car that don't turn right, that don't have air right, the window don't go out. When you can treat that like it's something, you're telling God you're getting ready for what is something. See, because if you can't praise me when you're down, you don't get to praise me and be up. Some of you struggling, you ought to tell a lot of things. Because from past experience, the struggle is what made me. Anybody here been through something when you came out on the other side? You, you know you ought to tell people, go and get your praise on, baby. It ain't what it is. It ain't see it. You know why we praise the God? Because it ain't going to be like this always. There's some time of fasting. Hey! What do you mean, fast? You can't go to the movies. That's a fast. You can't eat out every day. That's a fast. You can't buy you no bottle every day. That's a fast. You got to ration out your weed. That's a fast. Don't you know fasting is good for you? I had to fast on paying rent and live in somebody else's house. So when he put me back out there on my own, I'll tell him thank you. Yes. Ask him. Lord, help me accept this role. I'm struggling with it. I'm struggling with it. It ain't making sense. You've given it to me, Lord. Whatever it is, I want to learn uh, and learn to fulfill it with to fulfill it with gratitude. And to thank you, Lord, for deeming me worthy to not have. Thank you, Lord, for deeming me worthy to tell my kids no right now. That's a totally different thing. Cause when He bring you out. I ain't telling you what I heard. I ain't telling you what I read. I'm telling you what I live. Yeah, yeah. When God bring you out, and he will, they, gonna get, they think you cry now. But somebody say, gee, you're going to take a run because you know. You and you alone, only you know that it was God. Only you know that God made that crooked way straight. Only you know that God made that bumpy road smooth. It wasn't a, it wasn't a substance that we was taking or using. It wasn't nothing. It was God that brought you out on the other side. And when you come out on the other side, you throw your hands up and say, Lord, I thank you. Then, somebody say then. Amen. God's so cold. If he don't, you'll still worship him. Why? Because I know he's able. If he hasn't done it, he must see something I can't see. So God, I'm going to still praise you because I know you're able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or You ain't willing to give up nothing for the kingdom. You don't deserve to live in the kingdom. Well, 
Christ gave up his deity and his life so that we might live. Well, and he can have power on heaven. You, you think you ain't going to give him nothing? You, you think you ain't going to go through nothing? You, what? He say, if you're going to follow me, deny yourself. Pick up your cross and follow me. When you grow older, you're thanking for them storms. When you get mature, not even old in age, but mature in your spiritual world. Yeah. Oh, Lord, how I thank you. My God. You were there all the time. You were there all the time. You were waiting patiently in life. The Lord was there all, all the time. He said, I'll never leave you. What are we doing? Put your heart into your power. It may seem insignificant to you, but it's a perfect part from God. Yeah. Father God, we come down just to say thank you. Mm for begging us and pleading with us to just grow in you so we will know the truth and tell the truth with the right spirit oh forgive us God for being on that milk too long thank you for loving us enough to drop this word on us Lord teach us to be comfortable in whatever position you put us in to give our all to it because you placed us there doesn't mean we're going to stay there, but it's just a temporary spot to develop us. I thank you, God, for what you've placed me in my life. I thank you, Lord, for keeping me when I didn't understand. I thank you, God, for lifting me up when I was down. Thank you for loving me. Bless everyone that's here on the sound of my voice in person and on social media. Lord, help us to put our heart in our part. As you give us traveling grace, let us get back home and find things decent and in order. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Mammy, sirs. You are excused.